Today we're covering third-party HDMI to USB-C adapters and their functions with the two different glasses, Xreal and Fitcher. Uh, in this example, we're using a Chromecast, which is connected via an HDMI dongle. And uh, we're using Elebase HDMI out to USB-C display port out which goes to the glasses. And right now I have it connected to my Vitters. Um, and uh, from here, I've got a battery that's uh, connected to the Elebase with a right angle connector. And then my Chromecast is powered via uh, USB-C and uh, also going into the battery. Um, the video here, you can see, uh, I'm gonna have to rotate this vertically so it's going to look sideways to you guys but um, yeah you can see the vitres here audio works video works and uh, yeah this is a nice little portable setup there's no mode configuration that needs to be done with the vitres they just uh, work outright with the audio um, there are other adapters you can use this one's gofanco uh, you know in place of the in place of that elebase um, some adapters don't work. Like this is the uh, Picto um, adapter, and this does not work in this configuration for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so Vitters work. The N reels, you have to do something special to get the HDMI audio to work because it won't work right off the bat. And it's it's really f um, finicky. I don't know if anybody knows an easier way to do this, but. Um, to switch to HDMI audio, you have to hold the, the minus button, right? You gotta, you gotta hold that minus button right there. I don't know if we can, let me actually put my hand here so it focuses properly. This is minus, this is plus, and this is the mode button. So what I found you have to do is initially, you know, sometimes you'll be in brightness mode because you can be in two modes. You can be in, in, in the rocker can control brightness or it can control your volume. So in order to switch modes, you have to hold this mode button down while you're pressing one of these guys. And once you've done that, it switches either to audio or back to um, back to display brightness control, right? So what I found is I have to switch out of display mode into audio mode. So what I do is I hold this button, press one of these buttons, and it changes modes, which doesn't give you any audible audible sound. And then to get into HTML audio mode, once you're in audio mode, um, you have to hold this minus button here, and it doesn't work right away. What I found is I have to tap it once and tap it again and hold. And then you hear a knock sound. Sometimes you don't hear the knock sound, sometimes you do. Once you hear that knock sound, um, your glasses display will go out. And then you have to click the mode button again to get your, your video back. And most of the time, your uh, audio will start playing. Sometimes it doesn't, and you have to go through this whole thing again where you're mode switching and trying to get back into the audio mode and then holding the button down to get your audio to play out of this. And um, once you get the hang of it, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but I can see where people are trying to get their X-Real Airs working. Like, I know uh, Wood uh, did a review and couldn't figure it out. And um, it's that simple, where to kick it into HDMI audio mode, is what I just explained, is to, you know, hold the mode button make, and press a button to get your, make sure your, these are um, moving your volume. And then once you're in this mode, hold that minus button. And for whatever reason, I have to double tap to, uh, you know, one and then two and hold to get it to jump into HDMI mode. And then it'll go back and forth, you know, if you want to shut it off and go back to the other mode as well. But, uh, you know, once you figure it out, it's not hard to do. But there is that extra step with the X-Reels. And again, with the Vitters, you know, they just seem to just work right off the bat. And uh, nothing needs to be done in there. And again, you know, you want to look at your, your manual for your glasses. Um, the, they work differently as far as the uh, switching between audio controls and brightness controls. And they're two, two separate glasses. But yeah, this is great, you know, for third-party adapters. If you just want to get something like a Chromecast or a King or some HDMI audio device and you have issues with audio, um, you know, that's how to do this with the mode switch with the in real air and feature, you know, there's nothing you need to just pretty much plug it in. But uh, yeah, just wanted to share if you have uh, any questions about this setup or um, have any uh, 
suggestions on videos that you'd like to see, please post below. Thanks.